Now, we can multiply x plus 3 over x plus 3 by that. That's greater or equal to 1. We haven't changed anything because x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1. All right. Now, let's expand. On the numerator, we have minus 2x minus 6. That is divided by x plus 3 squared. That's greater or equal to 1. We cross multiply x plus 3 squared by 1. Then we have minus 2x minus 6 is greater or equal to x plus 3 squared. We can expand the right hand side. So we have minus 2x minus 6 is greater or equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. We can take what we have on the right hand side to the left hand side to get minus x squared minus 6x minus 2x minus 9 minus 6 is greater or equal to 0. Now let's simplify what we have. We have minus x squared minus 8x minus 15 is greater or equal to 0. We can multiply throughout this inequality by a negative. But the moment we multiply by a negative, the inequality changes sign. So we multiply this by a negative, we all get positives. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 15. Now, let's factorize the left-hand side. We get x plus 3x plus 5, less or equal to 0. All right. Now, we have the critical values. I shall call them CVs. So the critical values, they are minus 3 and minus 5. All of these are the x-intercepts. All right. Now, we need to use the graphical method of solving inequalities. We just draw a number line. Then we write down the critical values. We have minus 5 and we have minus 3. Now, if you look at that function up above, we have a greater than 0. Remember we say, when we have a function that is given by fx is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. We say for this function, when a is greater than 0, the graph of that is concave up. And if a is less than 0, the graph is concave down. So in this case, our graph is concave up because a is greater than 0. So we have such a graph. All right. And then we are looking for the values of x for which this is less than 0. And those values of x are found in this region. Okay, so now if we consider the original inequality, the original inequality was minus 2 over x plus 3 greater or equal to 1. All right, now we can write the solution as x lies between minus 3 and 5. I want you to take note that x doesn't have to be minus 3, so we don't put a less or equal sign on this because x doesn't have to be minus 3. If x is minus 3, this becomes undefined, all right? Then this is the solution to that rational inequality.